Life at Napoli is wonderful. We sit top of Serie A. Alessandro Ferri's hit two hat-tricks, scoring seven goals already this season. We've been handed a favourable draw in the Champions League league stays. Uh, the only hardest team we got to play is Real Madrid. Things are going so well for us. I love it here. Welcome back, folks, to episode 13. Unlucky for some, but lucky for us because it is the start of our Champions League campaign of the revisiting Napoli series. As I said in the intro, we are doing very, very well. We will have a look at the schedule to start with. So we played the three league games where we beat Udinese 3-1, which you saw at the start. We then beat Parma 1-0, Ferry getting the goal in that one. And in the most recent game, we smashed Frossin on 5-0, Ferry getting three goals, Barella getting one, and Lizamar getting the other one. We do have an injury crisis, though. That is a big, big factor to us at the moment. Our current injuries are uh, Tapasoba, more on that in a minute. Roque and uh, Djokovic all out, three defenders. We also have... I think it was... It's Nets. Nets was also out injured as well. He's on a fitness test. Brella's on a fitness test. Raspadori's on a fitness test. We're just falling by the wayside. If we have a look at the table, we are top. Three games played. 3-1. Three, three games won, sorry. Nine points. Goal difference of eight. And Alessandro Ferry, the top goal scorer, with seven. Um, we did have the transfer window, didn't we? As a... As it's, it's going to happen, isn't it? We, we had the first game and then we moved on. So we got the transfer window. So we have managed to bring in four more players. So we got this guy in from Atalanta, £4 million. Mattia Amendola. Or Amendola. He is a left-sided midfielder. 17 years old. Got four star potentials. why we brought him in. Just to train him up. Next guy in is this one. Albano Lopez. Portuguese under-21 international. 21 years old. Again, four star potential there. We've loaned him back out to Nantes. The club we bought him from. Paid £9.5 million for him. Just to develop him. A little, that little bit extra. So when he does come in, he's ready to hit Serie A running. I thought we needed a goalkeeper just to sit on the bench and to play the cup games. So Keba Nundao is going to be joining us on loan from Bayern Munich. We do have the option to buy him. Uh, where is it? For £35.5 million, pound, but we probably won't exercise that. It's a lot of money to pay on a goalkeeper when we got Lever. Lever's pretty decent. And then I thought we needed a defender in because we let uh, Macy go out on loan to Napoli. So Edmund Tapsoba has joined us. £34 million pound is a lot of money for a 33-year-old. Three-star current ability, three-star potential defender. But look at this value. Look at his stats as well as attributes. Physical side of his game is wonderful. Does need to work on his strength though. Men's side of his game is brilliant too. And so is his defending. 16, 16. He's also got 16 of passing. So if we do put him as that ball-playing defender... He's going to do brilliant there. So then, let's jump in to our first Champions League game of the season. Home to RB Leipzig. Team we're putting out there to start the campaign off with a win. We are going to get a win. I know we are. I can just feel it. I can feel it in the water. It is levering goal. A back four of Lacco, Marcato, Skriniar and Lizema. Barella at the base midfield. Victorino and Susic in front of him. Roger on the left. Gallon on the right. Ferry up front. Just getting loads of goals. Uh, we've got to give some shirt numbers to the youngsters. We'll go 48 there. 49 and 51. That will do. Lovely stuff. Get that submitted. Get the team out there. Get them in the dressing room. Get them revved up for this match. We want to win the Champions League. That is the aim of this season. I mean, I mean, we do need to win the league as well. I keep saying that. I said that quite a lot in the first episode for Napoli. And at the moment, I think we can do it. I mean, the team we built is pretty good. We've got a strong defence. Yes, it is full of old men. But their, 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 their game is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We've got a corner here. Barella puts that into Marcato. Heads it over the bar. Good first effort from us. Leipzig had the first attempt that was on goal. That's our first attempt from that corner. We just need to be hitting the target. I think we can do it. I know we can do it. It does annoy me that we still get the, the PAR uh, labelling here for, for, for Napoli. Obviously, they haven't got the licensing for, for the Champions League games. As Lizma takes the throw in, gives it to Skriniar, Susik into Barella. We're staying on this right-hand side at the moment, although we have space on the left and we can find it. We're not using it, though. We're, we're just running into the running into the players on this right-hand side. Now we're going left. Marcato, nope, turns, goes right. Skriniar, play it forward. 
create some space, play it forward. Fairy coming deep then, trying to get the ball. Leipzig have got through. Oh, no. Put it in the back of the net, 35 minutes on the clock. Leipzig 1, Napoli nil against against the run of play, I'd say. I mean, I'm going to say that for my own team. Um, maybe it's not going by the match stats. Pretty even, although we are dominating the possession. And Marcato's on the ball again. Launches out to Roger on the left-hand side. He's got space. Cuts it to Victorino. Lacco into the box. Roger's been fouled. We haven't got a penalty, though. Lacco gives it to Brella. Have a shot, son. Oh, he does. Oh, he went far off. Goes over the bar, though. I think the Leipzig goalkeeper might have saved it if it was actually on target. We haven't hit a shot on target this game yet. Half-time. Oh, we've just hit one then as the... the, the uh, the match ticked over into half time. I'm going to say we're terrible. We are out of sorts. Players aren't playing as they should do. I'm going to give them another 15 or so minutes. I'm also going to encourage them as Leipzig have the highlight from a goal kick. Working into their defence at the moment. Managed to get out of the box. We need to put a challenge in. Giving them space. We're, we're giving them too much respect. And then Victorino dives in, wins the ball. What did Roger do then? Roger just gives the ball away. And. Oh no! Leipzig double their lead. All because Roger sort of he touched the ball and then was jogging around with it. I'm not happy about that. Really not happy. I can't do any shouts because we've encouraged them already. Barella needs to launch this ball forward. He's not. He's gone to Skriniar. Skriniar into Susik. Susik turns to Gallan. Gallan launches it to Ferry. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Instant response from the, the Leipzig goal. Ferry just chests it and then boots it into the back of the net. 2 1 now. We can go on from it, can't we? Let's encourage them again. 54 minutes on the clock. Leipzig with the highlight. They've launched that ball up there. Lacco needs to stay strong or get the ball. Oh, I thought that went in then. We've uh, turned it away for a corner. We need to get ahead onto this one and get the counter-attack going. It's Unkunko. Or Going to put this one in. We have got it clear. Danger's not properly clear though. Marcato's chasing that ball down as the highlight ends. We're at the hour mark. Let's make some substitutions then. What have we got on the bench and who needs to come off? Who's playing poorly? It's Barella's not having a good game. So I think Aguirre's going to come on for him there. Um, Fitness-wise, Lizamov. I don't think we've got a right back. We've got Militao can come on. So we'll do that one there. I don't want to break the old man at right back though. I mean... We might have to do that though. Victorino's looking tired as well. I'm not having the best of games. So Aspiensen can come on for him. I think we'll swap him with Susik. I ah, know he's better off playing there. Better off having him in the Mazzala role. There's the substitutions at the hour mark. We will make a couple more uh, as the game goes on. Maybe around the 75, 80 minute mark. We need to get ourselves back into it. We need to get a winner here. An equaliser and then a winner. Can we do it? Pretty sure we can as my phone goes off then. 80 minute mark. Let's get some substitutions going then. Got two more. Uh, Lacco's looking tired. We don't have a left back to come on. Nets can come on. Actually, Nets is there. So Nets comes on for Lacco. And then for the last trick, I think we bring Chevalier on for. Chevalier comes on on the right hand side. And I'm gonna. I'm going to encourage the boys. We're going to go on the attack as well. We might as well. Militao's picking up this ball into Chevalier. Chevalier trying to find Ferry. Does find him. Gives it back to Chevalier. Aguirre. Oh, Apps Jensen trying to run onto the through ball. Ferry's got it. In the box. Get in there, my son. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. We've dragged ourselves back into this one. Again, it's Ferry in the goals. What a striker. Well done, boys. Four minutes of time added on. Not going to get another goal. Champions League campaign starts with a draw. Had to bring ourselves back from 2-0 down. Ferry doing all the work for us. Hopefully, this isn't going to affect us in the league. We just need to go and beat Barry. That's what we're going to do next. The team then for the Barry game sees us play. Levering goal. A back four of Nets, Skriniar, Marcato and Lizama. Barella at the base midfield. Coste and Victorino in front of him. Raspadori on the left, Galan on the right, Ferry up front. We're doing well in the league, aren't we? I reckon we can do even better in this one and get Ferry another hat trick. I'm just expecting it from him now. He's just a prolific goal scorer. He's played 39 league games for us so far, he scored 33 goals. This will be his 40th game for us, so let's get him up to at least 35, 36 goals. 
and uh, just dominate the dominate play and dominate this league like we've we've done for the past two seasons. Gallan's given the ball away though. Barry have got it in their defence, chipping that forward. Lismer steps in, chests it down, wins the ball out to that byline. Puts a cross in, gives it to Victorino. 1-0 already. 35 seconds on the clock. Napoli 1, Barry 0. We are the Italian giants. The Italian wonder team. Nets with a corner. It's been cleared. Skriniar chases it down. Goes back to Lismer. Where's the options? We sort of penned ourselves in and camping outside their box. Brella's lost it. Victorino wins it back. Tries to find it into Raspadori but can't. Victorino's making an absolute nuisance of himself. Scrinyar with the header into Victorino. Again, he's pushing it on. Everything seems to be going for Victorino at the moment. Marchetto heads it over to Scrinyar. We're on the left. Into Barella. One touch passing at the moment. Raspadori. Barella just launch that forward. Victorino. Costes on the ball. Gives it to Raspadori. Launches it to Gallan. As calm as you like. Just waiting for the keeper to go down and pops it over him. 2-0 inside 10 minutes. Napoli, you're a wonderful team. Russ, you're a wonderful manager. You've built this team up so well. Just just dominating Italian football. Absolutely dominating it. And every every highlight we get and every attack we got, I'm just expecting us to score from it. Marcato. The space is there for our players. Can we use it? Into Raspadori. Oh, so close with that one. If he was a couple of inches to the left and, and had a little bit more curl on it, we'd be 3 0 up. It's not, not to be, though. It's, it's, it's still the 2 0. Raspadori hasn't played that many games for us. He is like the talisman of this club. Very hasn't been in the match either. He's on a 6.6 .6 rating at the moment. Marchetto gives the header in to Galan, who's come deep for this ball. Lizma. We got three players forward. Can we find any of them? We do as Coste, Victorino, Galan feeds it to Ferry, and he absolutely thumps it into the top corner. There is going to be a VAR check, though. I think he's offside. Nah, as I said, offside isn't to be. I mean, Ferry's getting into the action there. It was a thunderbolt of a shot. He just strayed offside as we approach the half time whistle. Barella with a free kick. We've got a penalty. I think we have. Marcato pushed in the box there. I think it is. I think it's Raspadori on penalty duty, but I'm probably wrong on that one. It's number 11. That is Raspadori. He steps up, shoots, and that was the poorest penalty I've ever seen. And he hits the bottom of the post. The goalkeeper dives over it, and it goes in. 3 0 to Napoli. And the halftime whistle is going to blow any second now. There we go. 3-0 at the moment. Um, should be 4, in my opinion. I think from there he should have had that goal count in. But then again, I am biased. Uh, he's not having the best of games. So I'm going to have a little chat with him now. I'm not angry with him. Um, we're just going to say that to him. He's motivated. Maybe that'll get him the goal. I'm going to go on the attacking mentality as well. Let's just get it out of him. There's a flare in the crowd there. From our fans. Barella steps in to win the ball. But it's, uh, it's fallen to the Barry player. And they just can't release any of their players. Our defence is so strong. Net steps on it. Slows the ball down into Barella. Barella loses the ball. He's just not got his wits about in there. And Barry been released. Marcato needs to put a challenge in. Good save from Lever. And Net gets it clear out for a throw in. Just Barella sort of dawdled on the ball a little bit then. We need to work on him a little bit, I think. Maybe he's just slowing down in his old age. As we said, Victorino puts it back to Barella. Galan launches it into Coste. And it's a good save from the keeper. And they would have been better off blasting that up the pitch. Not out for a corner. Because there's the chance that Marcato or Scrinia can get onto this ball. Get it in the back of the net. Nets puts it in. It has been cleared. Raspadori's got it. Into Nets again. Float one in, son. Marcato, Raspadori, Barella. Are we going to give it to any of our players who's in a, a better place to have a shot? Victorino, no. It wasn't going to be. He tries to like tries that light little pass into the box. It was never going to happen. And uh, Barry had got it clear, although we've won it back here from this highlight. Lizamo into Barella. Victorino back to Barella. Ferry's really deep in our, on our pitch. He needs to be up front. He's a poacher. Just sit on the back of the, the, of the, the defenders. Let them create the mistakes. 
Barry get it clear. Marcato's there. Plays it forward again. I think we're going to be going for... Oh, I, see, I see that. We're playing ourselves into a little bit of trouble at the moment. Victorino over to Galan. We've got space on the right. We don't. We go left to Raspadori. Raspadori floats it to Coste. Ferry. There's his goal. 4 0. Ferry finally gets on the score sheet. And let's make some substitutions. And we are on the hour mark. Who's looking tired? Who needs to come off? I think we'll bring Ibanez on for uh, Skriniar. Uh, who else is looking pretty tired? Nets is looking knackered. So Lacco can come on for him. Uh, for the third substitution, we will do. Let's take Brad off and bring Aguari on there. And as we did with the Leipzig game, we'll get to the 80-minute mark and make some more substitutions. Raspadori puts a free kick in, and Mark Atto's just there. Calm, collective header. The Barry goalkeeper should have done a hell of a lot better with that one, but we've got five. Napoli five, Barry nil. Five different goal scorers as well. It's a wonderful performance for us. It's Mark Atto has a free kick in the centre circle. Gives it to Victorino. Galan got Lism on the overlap, finds him. He's in the box, puts the cross in. It's Coste, there's number six. <laughs> Napoli six, Barry nil. I love this team. It's such a wonderful team. I, yeah, it's brilliant. I, I'm, during the half-star of five-star series, it was like this all the time. I did regret going to England when we could have stayed here for another year and, and, and done what we're doing here. Galan with the ball into Aguari, although we've been dispossessed. Oh, they've hit the crossbar. Lever was rooted to the spot, and yeah, just if that had gone in, it would have been a brilliant goal. Luckily, it's hit the crossbar for us and gone back out. But yeah, six different goal scorers in this match. And I want a seventh. I'm pushing the guys for a seventh. We're still on the attacking mentality. We're going to drop down to positive, though. Ibanez with the ball over to Lacco. Coste, latest goal scorer for us. Raspadori turns round, runs back into our half of the pitch. Victorino into Galan. Lism on the overlap. This is where one of the goals come from last time. Another flare goes off in the crowd. Galan puts it to the edge of the box to Aguari. There's Lacco back to Aguari. Lacco with the shot. There's Galan. Number seven. Num Going to be another VAR check though. Please don't rule this one out. We're waiting for the arms to go up. And Ferry's rolling around holding his knee. The arms going up. They're not. It's been disallowed. It's only six. And we've got attention to Ferry there. A little bit concerned. I'm going to have to check on him. He's picked up a knock. He's running. He's on his own at the moment. He's got three players around him. He's gone out to that byline by himself. He's in the box. Turns it to Galan. Galan with the shot. And there you go, son. There's number seven. Second goal of the season for Galan. I think that's his second goal of the match as well. Did he score before? Yeah, he did. So it is his second goal. We are going to make some substitutions, though. Uh, we need to take Raspadori off. Because he's... He's having a storming game, but I don't want to break him too much. So we will bring on, uh, we'll bring on Chevalier for Raspadori, and then Roger can come on for Ferry. Hopefully, Ferry isn't too broken, as we've got the ball and another flare going off in the crowd. Ibanez to Lizama, Lizama to Galan. Galan's going to be looking for his hat trick as we boot the ball out to this left hand side. Lacco chips it in, trying to find one of our players, can't find him. Lizama's picked up the loose ball. That's a poor cross. Poor attempt there across from Lismas. Victorino picks it up and we recycle this attack. Trying down the right hand side again. Lismas puts it across. Ferry bundled around. It's like pinball. It went anywhere but the goal. Substitutions have gone through now. Two minutes of time added on. Barry just want to get out of here, don't they? They just want to leave the Maradona. Napoli 7. Barry nil. Wonderful performance. Absolutely wonderful performance from us. I'm so happy with this team. So, so happy. Top of the table. 15 goal difference. 12 points. 3 clear of anyone around us. Although Sassuolo and Milan still have to play. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Really do. It's, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as what I do. Ferry's out for 7 days. So we'll give him a little bit of a rest. Lizma picks up the man of the match in that one. Uh, we'll say that to the boy. And then, we've already had a look at the league table. We know we're top. Schedule them. I'm thinking... I think we come back for the Inter game and the Motherwell one. 
I know we've got Real Madrid here, but I just want to get through as many games we can to get this going to win the Champions League. So Napoli, Napoli playing Inter, Napoli playing Motherwell. That's what we're going to do. 7-0 winners there. Absolutely wonderful performance. Join us on the next one.